Hello all my beauty junkies. I hope you're all having a great day today. It is a beautiful day here in Dallas. It's nice and sunny, but boy is it windy. <laughs> I have my Bubba cup here full of my water. And it is time to give you a few of my favorite things. So I think I'm gonna start off with the non-beauty products first so we can just get those out of the way. And I normally don't have too many non-beauty products, but there are just some that are like blowing me away this week. So last week I did show you my Bubba Cup. This is something I purchased from Walmart. I believe it was like $8, 34 ounces. Put ice in this thing as well as water in the morning about 7 a.m. When I get out of school at 3.45, I still have ice. That night, I still have ice. This stuff, this thing is amazing. That's all I'm going to say with that because I did have that in my last week's favorite. But this is um, something I want to show you this week. Uh, last week I showed you my pre-workout powder. Um, it's called Uplift, I believe, from Vitacost. But I wanted a new bottle. And it's funny because my husband says I have an addiction to water bottles. Um, and looking in, it could probably seem like I do because I have a lot, but when something newer and better comes out, I want it, right? I have a blender bottle, a regular blender bottle, which would be just this part. It has the, um, you take the lid off and, whew, there's a little water in there. Um, you have this little water thing in there, so you put your powder in there and you shake it up with water. That would be the original blender cup. But they have this bottom attachment to it. Uh, you just do it like this. Just twist it on, twist it off, take the top off, which, let's see. Then you see underneath the lid, there is this little compartment. You can take this off. And there's little compartments right there where you can put vitamins or uh, pre-workout pills, but you know, anything in there. And then your powder goes in here, and that is what I have been doing. I do kickboxing on Monday night and boxing on Wednesday. Right after work, I, I go to the uh, class. So, I pack this with me, take it to school with me, so I'll have the blender cup with nothing in it and then I have my powder in here. Just put eight ounces of water in here, put the powder in there, shake it up, drink it, go to class and it is phenomenal. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, and that was Walmart. I don't know if I said that. Uh, less than ten dollars for this cup. I really, really love it. Uh, laundry. Do you like good smelling laundry? Uh, I have sang the praises of the Downy Unstoppable scent boosters for many moons, but I have a new favorite. It's the Snuggle scent boosters. Um, these were little pebbles that you would put into your washing machine, and those the Downies were great, but you they, you just went through the bottle so quickly just because it was easy just to pour too much out. These, the Snuggle Scent Boosters, love how they come. Just comes in like a little pouch. You just throw this in the washing machine and I tell you, you do a load of laundry without putting one of these in, then you do a laundry with one of these in and oh my goodness smells so good. Everything you have in the laundry smells phenomenal, makes my closet smell good, makes me smell good, so hey, it's all good. Okay, now we're on to the beauty favorites and the face wash that has me downright giddy to wash my face in the morning. I can't believe I even just said that, but it does get me giddy. I get excited to wash my face face and it is because of the Tony Moly banana cream foam cleanser. Now it may be a shock to those of you that have been with me for a while because I'm always like I love citrus, I love the citrus smell, I prefer the citrus smell. This doesn't have the citrus smell so I don't want it. 
This smells straight up like a banana Laffy Taffy. Have you ever had banana Laffy Taffy? Probably my favorite Laffy Taffy. It's yellow, the package is yellow, obviously for banana, right? 100% like banana Laffy Taffy. It is a thick cream, and when you put it on your face, it just covers every inch of your face. Of course, except for the eyeballs. Don't put it on the eyeballs. Uh, and you just work it in, and it stays thick. You just ha I keep having to rinse my hands, get some water, and just work it in, and eventually it does go into like a small little bit of a foam. But you just have no idea how good this feels on the skin. When I get this off, my skin feels so clean in a good way. Uh, it doesn't feel dried out. There's absolutely zero amount of redness. Um, no stinging, no burning, no twing, tw twinkling, nothing. Um, this is Korean. Uh, Tony Moly is a Korean skincare. And quite frankly, I'm all up in their Kool-Aid right now because... I mean, the women over there just look un just phenomenal, right? I mean, so they, they, know, they must know what they're doing, and I believe it. This is the first Tony Moly product that I've purchased, and I am in love. This is blowing every citrus cleanser, morning cleanser, out of the water that I have used. I got it online at uh, Ulta.com. I went inside the store and the stupid sales lady was like, Who, what's a Tony Moly? <laughs> I was like, are you kidding? Uh, yeah, so online and I tell you what makes me want to eat some taffy. It smells good and it makes my skin feel good. Okay, so let's talk about foundation this week. It's pretty much been a light week. I have either gone, used the Urban Decay Naked Skin um, in shade 1.0 or the Laura Mercier uh, Tinted Moisturizer with SPF 20. I have the Laura Mercier on today and I like it. Uh, it's just, I haven't needed any full coverage for this week, which is lovely. And, hey, if you don't need the coverage, these are phenomenal. There's no oxidation. Uh, it just kind of blends everything in to make one. You know what I mean? Like you have discoloration and things, but really, really have liked it. Uh, just stays put all day. Don't have any problems with it whatsoever. Um, under eyes this week, it's been the Maybelline Fit Me. This is in Fair. I've actually put it under my eyes, then put it on top of my lids for a primer and set it with the uh, Laura Geller Balance and Brighten powder. You know, uh, love it. Absolutely love it. And it does not irritate my eyes since I put it on top of my eyes. doesn't bother me. Um, I actually tried to use one of my older eyeshadow primers. It was a Lorac, and it irritated my eyes. I just think it was old, so I ended up throwing that away, and which is why I started using this, and so no problems with it since. Um, the mascara that I've been using, strangely enough, um, is Maybelline The Falsies Push Up Drama. I believe... This may have come in my Beautycon BFF box. I'm not sure. Um, it looks interesting. It looks like, just looking at it, I would think there are two sides to it, but there isn't. There's just one. It's the wider side, and the brush is not new to the drugstore mascaras. But this was interesting because the first time I used this, I didn't curl my lashes. And it says it's a push-up. And I'm like, we're going to see. We're going to see. Because I didn't curl the lashes so they weren't like standing up all nice and proud. It pushed them up. I had to clean mascara off of my eyeballs. Well, not my eyeballs, but you know, my eyelids, right? Had to clean them up. So this stuff definitely does push them up. I haven't had any transfer. Um, it hasn't worn off. It comes off easily in the evening with my baby oil and Purity Made Simple. Love it. And again, 
drugstore price, right? Um, let's talk about shadows. Now, for many moons, I have talked about the Wet n Wild uh, Brulee eyeshadow. It's a dollar. You can buy it at any grocery store for um, kind of like the first color on my lid. But this week, I've actually been using Makeup Geek's Mirage. Oops. Oh, my goodness. And I just broke a little bit off. <gasps> Oh, oh, so Makeup Geek Mirage. These, I just love, I mean, you know I love Makeup Geek eyeshadows. Um, and this one is no different. It's from their matte line, and that is what that looks like. Absolutely love it. Uh, loved it more before I broke a little piece off, but that's okay. Um, and the other shadows that I have been loving, well, actually, bronzer, blush, and highlighter, has been from the Tarte Rainforest After Dark palette. Um, you know, I just love it. Let's talk about shadows first. I have been using this deep plum color, which is... Uh, plum Away With Me. That's what that one is. I've been using this to deepen up the crease. Like after I do my crease, just go in with one of my Sigma brushes and just deepen up the crease with that. That is beautiful right there. And the color I have been using on my lid was um, Up To No Gold. I like that. But this is truly a beautiful gold color. Um, and I put that on the lid. Really love that. Um, the blush in here is Unleashed. Let me wipe my fingers off. Okay, the blush is Unleashed. And you know I love the Tarte. Um, blushes Exposed is my favorite. Um, Park Avenue Princess for the bronzer, and everyone should know what that one looks like. It's Park Avenue Princess. And then this highlighter in here is, let's see, I wrote them all on the back. Champagne. It's called Champagne. And that's what that looks like. Let me find a spot. Okay. Whoop. Right there. That is champagne. Nice, 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 nice. But it's just nice to be, have everything in one palette. Um, excellent for travel. Excellent. Okay, let me clean off my hand. Then we're going to go to the lips. Because you know that's my thing. Okay. Let's see. What do I have in my bag? I just have three. Um, and all three of these, uh, I have a beautiful subscriber of mine who asked if I would do a my favorite nude lippies. Um, lipstick, lip gloss, things like that. And I definitely am going to do that. But these three are all nude. <laughs> So, you see that video is not going to be a hard thing for me to do. Um, the first one is the L'Oreal uh, Collection Privé, Privé, whatever that is, but it's J-Lo's color, right? It's uh, number 370, and this is what that looks like. It is just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful nude. So, that's J-Lo's, number 370. Okay, let's see. Then we have the NARS Audacious in Anita. Right there. Oh, that's beautiful. I love, love, love the Audacious lipsticks. Love, love, love. Okay. 
And then on my lips, last but definitely not least, is Dose of Color Stone. I absolutely love the Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks. Um, as I said, I have it on. I've had it on all day. Uh, well, it is lunchtime and I've had it on since morning. So, But it stays on. It is beautiful. Um, and when it starts to wear off, it doesn't do so tack, you know, tack, in a tacky manner because it's real easy to just freshen it up a little bit. And that stone, that, no, that color is just completely right up my alley. Absolutely love it. Um, last thing for me to tell you is uh, BeautyCon Dallas is next weekend. I'm so excited. I got my little wristlet in the mail. I am just over the moon excited. This is my first beauty convention, and I can't wait just to meet everybody. So let me know if you're going. Absolutely. And yeah, let me know if there's anything that you've been loving. And uh, let's see, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, comment if, uh, if you can, and follow me on all my social media, link below. I even have my P.O. box if you want to send me a letter. I love you all, and I'll see you soon. Bye.